Alright, so we need to go and sort out Windville because the birds apparently can't do it themselves. Yes, I need to go to Windville. Gear up for some Mode 7, folks. Isn't that just adorable? Thanks a lot, buddy. Wake up, you old coot. A deep voice whispered in Ark's ear. Who is arousing me? Now that's a... Uh, quite a caption for this game. I didn't realise they said it here as well. So we just woke up the wind god, or something to that effect? Doesn't matter. We are the god of this game, so uh, we tell all the lesser gods to do our bidding. weird, I've never seen a picture of Jake, but Northern Lion has his image everywhere, and his avatar is basically a cartoon version of himself. Well, I'm not so egoistical, that's why I never tend to name my main characters after myself. And then Ace had to go and take a selfie of him and me from Paradox when he left, and I posted that everywhere. Thanks, Matt. Let's go and get a prize from Big Bird. Okay, wind pin. If you develop an abnormality, summon birds with this to cure you. Okay. I better keep that one in mind because uh, in a town coming up soon, we will definitely get abnormalities. Huh. I thought he gives. Uh, I thought he gives us a free bird suit, but I guess I'm wrong. That's all right. So we'll be playing with low level and uh, low equipment. That's fine. Surely after playing this about 20 times, I am well equipped for that. So where are we going to go? I think I'm going to a new continent with the wind. I'll take you anywhere you want. I think you're going to Safarium, the paradise of animals. Tempting. Damn, it pains me that I can't serve you. It's not how you spell damn. I think you're going to a new continent, flying to a small temperate island called Camillo. Nah, you're alright. How about you? No, we never need to go to Windville again. Well, animals are temperate island. I want to uh, eat two of every animal on Earth. So let's go Safari. I'm a modern day Noah. Sad music again. 
the simple Rhino Simon, Kameski the Slow Turtle, and Neo the Lion King. I think Neo just had a baby. <laughs> what is with this depressed seagull? Well, I got no time for him. Let's go and steal everything from Safarium. Oh, it's just a book. No penalty for saving lots, so I might as well. Is house level of stealing everything, but there is nothing to steal. I guess they are just animals. Still, it seems like a pretty cool place. You get your own water slide. Alright. Brother, have I got a deal for you. But you're not selling me anything good. The healing spell from Ra would actually be rather handy, but I think I'll... Uh... Grab a few zap rings. Zap rings? Nah, forget it. We've got a pole arm and that's all we need. Okay, canyon seems risky. Forget it. We'll deal with that later. We cannot pass through the Indus River. In fact, there is no river. Bad times. We've got a lot of work to do to sort out all of this junk. So let's get to it. We need to find the animals and convince them to get back to their homeland. Alright, welcome to Zoo. I don't have the best of memories of this level. So let's just kill everything and hope for the best. Alright, now we're now at the level I should have been in raw. Great music again, though. I mean, I don't think there's a point in this game where you're like, oh, this music blows. Or even, this music isn't amazing. So in Ra... Uh, sorry, not Ra. In Zoo, we have to kill everything, I think. Or at least we have to kill everything in certain places, and I'm never all that sure where they are. But the idea is to... Yes, here you are. Rainfall altars, relics from the past, can be found in the zoo. And I think you're one of them. They come in sets of four and we have to get all of them. Which is a jolly old pain. I wonder if our map will help us out. Never used it before. Not sure to what degree this is useful. Steady supply of bulbs will be okay. I don't want to use my medium ones, consume some small ones. Yeah, like I said, don't use the map often because it's not all that great. There we go. Chewed down enough bulbs to keep us going. We cannot advance. Everything is, uh. seems kind of dead around here. Yeah, for 
turtle you pretty fast. I want to shield myself from the turtle when it explodes because it uh, sends out a bunch of fireballs. And frogs exhale. That's useful to me, I think, but maybe not right now. Four shaman controlled the weather at each rainfall altar. More things to restore. That is the theme of the game, really. And this is the altar. But we only have two of the four souls, so we need to go save the others. We came here prematurely. I spend so much time looking at maps of the world, I know a good one from a bad one. I think from the entrance of the zoo we have to head left, get two more of the shaman. It absolutely is not. Let's go. And that is what this place is lacking. Rain. And Ark is about to make a tremendous discovery. Okay, that's something else to keep in mind. These uh, huge frogs, when they exhale, they send you flying. And that's actually something you're going to have to use in the zoo. Let's all be grateful for that, Hillman. Oh, Mr. Stein. Alright, Shaman, get to work. effects in 96. You can sleep on it and feed it to animals, he's just talking about the colour green. So he now realises why the animals are all, all gone. There is no grass. if you want to call it that, evolves because uh, the introduction of water and possibly grass itself will open up new areas. Actually, no, I think I want to go that way. And 
taken quite a lot of damage because I didn't invest in that bird armor, but it cost money, and you know how I am like when it comes to money. I love games with good rain in them. I'm not going to say this is good rain because you can't hear it and it's not all that imposing. But at least it's there. Hopefully it's opened up that bit that I couldn't get to earlier. Yeah, the barren trees are gone so now I can proceed. Man. Got ourselves a new weapon and a medium bulb. And general rule in this game, you get a new weapon, you throw out the old one, and you forget about it forever. The rock spear is pretty much the only exception to this rule. Because you may later come across rocks that you need to bust. Okay, there are two other exceptions. There's the Light Spear, and the Spear that converts your defense into strength. A high-risk spear to use, but useful. Could proceed this way, but let's kill everything first. I mean, we want to attract uh, new animals. A better way to do that than by killing the ones that are already here. Another day, Tweety the Tweet. Huh, no sooner do I say it than I, I find a position where I have to use my rock spear. Which I think is a bit of a lame thing to do. I mean, what are you adding to the game by putting in that? All I have to do is switch spear, destroy it, and it's gone. That is not an engaging game. See, Quintet, this is why you went bankrupt. <laughs> Mock Quintet, the game mocks me. Tweety, not Tweety. Or Tweety? Whatever, your name is incredibly unimportant. Jake, your dash is green now, it changes colour. Yeah, your dash changes colour based on the kind of spear you're using. And, uh... Well, the theme of this whole level is that green is required for life. Okay, you can kind of replace green with grass in that sentence, but the point still stands. This rock wall is shaped all. It looks flimsy enough to knock down with a good puff of air. Alright, we need one of these froglets down here. Come on. Come on, you fat piece of crap. Come on. 
need you down here, hombre. Come on. I'll have to get them to respawn. Notice why that attack isn't so great. It leaves you very vulnerable afterwards. It's not like the dash attack that gives you more iframes than you know what to do with. Okay, spawn better this time. That's acceptable. kill him in this hit. There we go. I have one more altar to do after this. I hope it's only one more. But we're short someone, aren't we? Yeah, one. Sincerely hope they're over here. This backtracking is not my kind of thing. That's why I do not like Remake. Enjoy your four item slots of backtracking for the entire game. Where were you when you realized green was your favorite color? It was in zero. This opens up a whole lot more of the place. Uh, not sure where to go. Ah, no, there was a log I needed to push down to make a bridge, so... That was probably down here. Here's me hoping that this is the last uh, bunch of shamans that I have to resurrect. I'm not in Lapland anymore. Yeah, Ark doesn't have any more of his things to say about the color green. that I can or should go to before this. Well, that's alright. We have a very intuitive map down the side, probably. And this has a very end of dungeon feel to it, this area. Let's go and save three more spiritual shaman. Ark needs to learn some more advanced swimming techniques, though. needs to learn to kick better. 
But hey, he only learned how to swim it about an hour ago, so we can't lay into him too much. That was not a necessary skill back in Christia. Or is it just Krista? I forget. I've done a lot of EU4 campaigns now, and I've streamed a lot of them as well. I remember early on in the Foie days, when I was doing the Foie stream, I was thinking, wow, this isn't going to go well, and it's really going to bring down my track record. But then I got the, uh, the Iron Man one-shot luck with it, where it just seemed to go ideally. And since then I've just done so many campaigns. There are so many more to come. Alright, is that three or four done? I'll check down here anyway. But I digress. I was thinking, which is the one that I've had the most fun doing? And, uh... Part of me thinks that it's, uh... Shamanist Sweden European Domination. A very clear vision, and, uh... Clear vision, a very um, well-defined goal, make the HRE shamanist, and fully functional, and it all really came together. Okay, so Maria Theresa refused to die, but that just kind of added a new edge to it, I mean, is this actually going to work? Or will Maria Theresa's uh, mortality keep me from winning? Will the money that they force into Jelva stop me from being able to make a uh, shamanist elector? All these problems for poor little Sweden. At least we had a way to burn aggressive expansion back then. Sorry to say, but I do not have one right now. Well... I do, but I don't. DDR Jake stream that only required me getting up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Woo! Well, it's about half two here. I wonder how long this stream is going to last. Or rather, how long it's going to take. Hmm. This isn't a short game, unless you're lemons. New aggressive expansion burner confirmed. I'm saving it for a rainy day. It's one that has kind of always worked, but I've just never used. The setup for it is a little... Uh, it requires you to already be an established power base. But if you remember Navara, we had a, uh, a burner for them, and I said from the outset, if you play as someone like Castile, this will be easy. But I want to show that it's actually usable for anyone, so we're going to do it as Navara, and that all worked. And back then, Navara had generic ideas. It was a very bad day to be Basque. Generic ideas and alone in your culture group. Navara had a hard life. Funnily enough, it's one of the most watched campaigns. It seems that when people are asked where do I start with watching Jake's campaigns, people tend to tell them to check out Navara. Which is probably quite flattering, it was one of the early ones, I wasn't that great at the game back then. Still am it. Okay, where the heck am I going? I should know where I'm going, I passed by it not long ago. 
wife. I think I do need to swim south. 